Hello and welcome to the show. Today we are going to be doing actually some mechanicing work rather than just rebuilding random, <laughs> random stuff and searching through the junkyard all day. I could search through the junkyard like literally for many episodes just seeing what random crap I could find. We're actually going to try and repair a customer car. It's in quite poor condition. This is the uh, the new vehicle. It's just been released in the latest uh, kind of patch for this. The Elanti El Calopi. I don't don't even ask. <laughs> my English, my my English is not good. Uh, basically, it's a Clio V6, and I love the Clio V6. It, Clio V6 is my kind of utterly bonkers bonkers car, and uh, it's really cool to have a version of this in Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, we have actually work on a rear engine or mid-engined uh, car. You don't tend, to, don't tend to see this engine configuration on, uh, on car mechanics, so it's very, very cool to uh, have this here. Now, the list of things wrong with this car are absurd, I would just like to point out. Okay, so, we've got strange noise from the engine bay, fine and fix all engine problems. All of these, all of these are not discovered. Uh, there's a strange noise, loud exhaust can deal with that. Driver struggling to find gear, so basically there's, gonna be, there's gearbox issues, and then oh, there are many issues with this car. It looks like a pile of garbage but uh yeah <laughs> many many issues but it's uh interesting to work on a car with a slightly different engine position shall we say uh right let's go and grab off bits and pieces oh, this looks like a radiator is pretty buggered so that's at least one of the bits uh is the fuel pump buggered or the fuel pump's okay so we'll stick that back in there uh yeah it's not great but uh there we go all right let's see if we i'm actually gonna try and do this properly i'm gonna try and do this without i say properly i'm gonna try and keep track of all of the bits just to uh, make sure. So yeah, that was one bit of it. Radiator. It's it's a helpful thing uh, to have the uh, the notes, but you've got to really pay attention. I say you've got to pay attention when you're pulling the bits off the car. It really helps if you pay attention and and uh, make sure you keep track of them. Right. So intake manifold looks pretty buggered to me. So we'll add that to the list. That can come off. Now I had and my initial plan for today's, I guess, recording session on this game was going to be uh, trying to build a junker engine. So going around the scrapyard, junkyard, barn finds, trying to find bits of engine and making something, you know, trying to get an engine working just from the junkyard. Annoyingly, now I apologise if there is a way of doing it. Please do let me know if there is. I can't get this engine crate. If, like, if we grab, I'll just very briefly show you uh, there are all sorts of guff uh, parts I found. Uh, let's just grab this engine block. Uh, I can't mount an engine block on its own to this. It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me stick an engine onto here. You have to take it out with a crane, which means I can't, and I don't think I can add an engine to the crane as far as I know either. I can block from my inventory to this, so I have to pull an engine out of a car and before I can add it onto this. Which I didn't realise was how things worked. So if there is a way to just start from scratch with an engine block, please let me know. And I really, if there isn't yet, I really hope there is at some point. Because uh, that would be a really, really cool thing to be able to do. And I kind of assumed that you could, and apparently you can't. So it's, it's a little bit of an asshole, basically. <laughs> um, yeah. It's... Uh, it's a shame it kind of ruined a little bit of plans I had for uh, for this, but uh, there we go. What can you do? Uh, we, well, what can we do? We're going to work on a Clio. This looks pretty ruined. We will add that to the list as well. Uh, yeah, that was 10%. This one here might not be too bad. No, okay, so that one there isn't too terrible. Uh, we'll stick that back on for now. Uh, the gearbox is ruined, and... Uh, the exhaust manifold looks okay. The intake manifold, uh, sorry, other exhaust manifold. What am I on about? Um, the other exhaust manifold looks pretty, uh, pretty wrecked. All right, we want to go back to part unmount. So we have to get these off. Can we take these off with the wheels still on? Yes, we can. Anything that, uh, anything that makes me be as lazy as possible is always, always good in my book. Can we not just jump back to the gearbox? Why can we not jump back to the gearbox? I do not know. Um, what have we got to take off? What's... Uh, I get, ah, starter, of course. <laughs> Helps if you remember that. So starter motor is in good enough nick. Oh, looks like we're going to need an alternator. Uh, we're going to need lots. I, I don't kind of want to... Ooh, let's not do that just yet. Let's 
add that to the list. We know the gearbox. I'm I'm adding this to the list. I know we need a new gearbox for this car, and I, I know we need like clutch and stuff. I'm not going to bother with this because I know I know all the parts I need for the clutch, uh, unless it has a specific part. Just so I remember what sometimes like V6A, V6B, and all that kind of thing. Just so I remember specifically which ones of which. Uh, flywheel can come off. Also, I would like to uh, show you a sneaky, cheaty way of, uh, of of kind of diagnosing engine problems. Remember the old Finnish head bump method from uh, <laughs> from my summer car. Well, if you click on the right part in the uh, kind of uh, working, so I'm now clicking on the suspension. You can kind of zoom the camera through the engine block, which does mean you can be very lazy. I say very lazy, but when it comes to kind of trying to diagnose things, if you want to look to see if bits are rusty, yeah, finish head bump method. Uh, <laughs> it's come back. It has very much come back to uh, to another game. Let's see. I just wanted to check how we're doing on uh, loud exhaust. So that'll be the manifold, gearbox, and all of that guff there. Okay, so gearbox is all of that. Loud exhaust is the manifold, and then we've just got engine bay problems. Simple enough to do. We know it's not the fuel pump. Uh, we didn't check battery. Sometimes battery will be an issue. So, if I, actually, shall we go use... I never use these tools. I probably should. Uh, I, I'll show you. Okay, so we've got the... Uh, not from there, though. Uh, <laughs> from around here, we'll do it from the engine. Oops, you know, so click on the right part, and then if we go... I don't know, we'll go into it. That's how we do it. There we go. Examine tool. So you'll unlock these as you go through the, uh, through the, kind of the tech tree, if you like. And when you come to a job like this where you've got a lot of different uh, parts that you don't know which are wrong, can be very useful. So, for example, the compression tester. This will tell us about the condition of the pistons and so on. It will give you a good idea as to what bits may or may not be broken. On this one, two of the pistons are destroyed. Two of the pistons, I say destroyed, pretty much useless on there. And then what we can do is if we then go into car stats, uh, we tick this little star and that will let you know which ones it is that you've got to take out. So I'll now know those two are bad, but the other four are good, are good to stay. So we've got um, OBD scanner. This will tell you kind of ele electronical stuff. It'll probably tell us like spark plugs and ignition coils, I think, if I remembered correctly. Might tell us some other bits and pieces as well. Okay, so two spark plugs, uh, thermostat, ignition coils. Again, it's useful for if you're trying to do stuff cleverly. You know, we can go on here. We can click on these bits. It'll... Uh, let you know, and da, 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 da. and it helps you for keeping track of what bits you sort of definitely want to be adding. I'm just going to select everything while I'm here. Uh, what bits you want to be adding to the parts, like the buying list, rather than take it off and put it back on again, potentially. Uh, electrical meter does the battery and like fuel pump, I, I think it does. No, fuel pump will probably be in the fuel, th I can't remember now. Uh, so alternator is crapped out on that, the battery. Uh, the fuel fuel pressure test, this is the one, uh, didn't work for a little while. I think it's been patched up to working, potentially. Uh, we'll see if it gives us any results. Ah, yeah, that has been patched up. So we now can see that the fuel rails are fine, the fuel pump is okay. Uh, they, they are very useful tools. I, know I tend not to use them too much because I'm late. I say I'm lazy because I've been doing easy jobs. I've been doing the gearbox and exhaust jobs. It's just a really quick, easy visual thing. But on a job like this, it can be very, very useful indeed. Okay, so we know the fuel rails are going to be okay. We've got a couple of pistons to get out. Uh, oh, we need to get that out, don't we? That exhaust manifold. Have we added that to the list? No, we have not. So let's add that in there. Get the exhaust manifold off the car, because we know that that one there is one of the broken bits. Uh, I've just had a horrible, horrible thought. God damn. Right, so the horrible thought that I've just had is about the condition of the piston rings on some of the good pistons. I don't know if any of those can be buggered and uh, it not like tell us if that makes sense. So if the um, piston rings, the only way you can really test them I think is by pulling it off and the only way we'll know about them is by having to like, yeah, pull all, all of the pistons out of the engine. I'm, yeah, okay, they, they might. We'll see, we'll, we'll see, we've got all the bits that we know are needing doing. Uh, like that ignition coil, for example. Uh, I might have pulled out an extra ignition coil without realising. Um, Do we need three ignition coils? Or was one of them... Okay, let's have a look, actually. We can, we can check to see if one was okay. Yeah, one was okay. It looked pretty mank, but uh, wasn't too bad. Aha, right, these bits over here are going to need replacing... Uh, oopsie, unmount mode. What we have to get off first? Uh, play the game of guess the... Aha! Idler roll and B. That looks like that's probably going to need a... 
need a new one of those. Uh, yeah, it's 25%. What park condition does it want us to be at? Uh, 43%. I guess we could all... There is another way. There's another way of doing things. Examine mode. You could examine stuff properly with, uh, with this little mode, and it'll tell you uh, what condition stuff is in. Now, on, on this car, it's a fairly crappy condition car anyway, so we're getting away with stuff in the yellow. Some cars will... Uh, not, shall we say, be letting you get away with stuff in the yellow. So that's okay on there. Uh, serpentine belt is uh, is okay. We're going to need at least... Uh, I've actually stuck idle roll. We'll we'll stick on all of the ones that we know we're going to need. Uh, even though it's kind of... Uh, oh, no, don't want that. Um, oh, crap. Well, that's, we'll ignore that. Uh, <laughs> I can't... Uh, whenever I try to remove stuff from the list, I just clear the entire list. So that can stay on the list for now. Uh, alternator we are going to need. That can come off. Fairly sure we're going to need... Power steering pump looks pretty poor condition. So we will... We'll, do we'll take it off, we'll see. Uh, yet yeah, we will need that. And to add it onto the list, we can go from here when we click on the area, add to the list. Okay, so we are going to have to get the pistons. Oh, we're going to have to pull everything out to get the pistons, aren't we? How are we doing on the discovering of bits? Um, right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six bits uh, that we haven't discovered yet that are buggered. Uh, it's going to be a full, full pull apart jobby. This one, it, it's a um, not a not a simple. I didn't say it's not a simple. I knew when I clicked on the thing to build the car, I knew it was not going to be a simple, a simple rebuild here. Um, oh, we're going to take that. Uh, if I'm with any luck, we'll take off this timing cover and we'll find everything is buggered in here. Uh, oh well, what, we do know that we need one of the timing cover. The timing cover bits we need. I can do that. I can do that. That's easy enough. Uh, are they different types? Uh, no, they are just the same types. Just twist it around. Um, yeah, I can do those. Again, I'm just checking. Just checking. Yeah, timing covers were parts that we needed. Uh, oh, we need timing cover. Ugh, okay, there's a. <laughs> this is a, a little bit of a different engine to uh, work on. It's quite a different engine to work on this uh, V6. Wow, that is a biggest serpentine belt I think I've seen on an engine in this. That's incredible. <laughs> That is very, very. That is an impress. I'm impressed by the uh, the belt. I'll I'll be honest here. Let's get off these these cam gears. Do seem okay, but we have to take all of this guff off to get the camshafts out, which we have to get off to get the other bits out. And it's just a fat. It's just a big old fat. How's the water pump? Water pump is that a healthy condition? It doesn't look the worst condition part I've pulled off this car. So we'll say yes. That looks like we're going to need another one of. I'll just buy a bunch of idle roller A's. Because that's definitely one of the ones we need. That needs coming off. Uh, crankshaft pulley seems okay. That's done. Now we can get crap out of this. Oh, we've got the second engine head. The engine head cover comes in two parts of the V6. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, okay. I found another buggered bit. <laughs> yes, we're going to need that. That looks completely wrecked. And that will come off of there. And... I should have probably taken the engine out, shouldn't I? Would have made sense to take the engine out, but we're here now. See, because we are having to literally... I guess I had kind of hoped that we wouldn't have to... Um, yeah, I've got to take out all the spark plug. I was kind of hoping we would not have to completely disassemble the engine to get to bits, but I guess when it says that you're going to have to do pistons, you're going to have to completely disassemble the engine to get to bits. Um, what, have we, what have we now not got off the... Ah, intake manifold. Ah, fuel rails and then intake manifold. I thought I had taken the intake. Never mind. Ignore me. Oh, I take, have I taken off... I thought I'd taken off... Uh, I, maybe I'd taken off some other bit of the intake. Um, yeah, because I thought I'd taken some, some bit of the intake off because it was angry and rusty. But I can't remember which part. Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry. Don't mind me. We're just faffing around. So the pistons that are buggered... Oh, there's one on each side as well, isn't it? Typical. Um, we have to, uh, I guess we probably have to take off the. How we, how, da, 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 have we found? No, there's still two bits to be discovered, which of course are going to be on this side. So, <laughs> you know what? We'll just strip the entire thing down. We'll go for that. It's fine. Uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's not the worst job we've ever done. Uh, there are. <laughs> I say it's not the worst job. Some of the worst jobs you'll do is where you can't. There's one part that's showing up as undiscovered, and you cannot, for the life of you, find where that one part is. They are the worst jobs where you, you literally. There are a few where I've literally taken the entire car apart 
to find the one bit. It is like one stupid little part. It's normally it's normally the rubber bushings. Okay, I'm going to be honest. When you're working on uh, some some vehicles, the rubber bushings are notoriously horrible. Um, but when it when it's engine bits, it's like one thing that's right in the bowels of the engine. It's like a single valve. Uh, oh, it's a valve push rod. That was it. Uh, one of the V8 overhead valve engines that uh, I was pulling apart. One of the valve push rods were gone, and I didn't notice that when I when I was sort of taking it apart, and I pulled apart a lot of the car before I realised the bloody push rod was the <laughs> was the problem. Right, uh, we're gonna have to lift this up, aren't we? Uh, yeah, because we have to get we have to lift it up to get the oil pan off to get the thing in me what's it uh, to get the crank or to get the bearing cap. Oh, it's gonna be the bearing caps, isn't it? Oh, that's what's gonna be the bugger on this engine. Right, use equipment. Dribble out all of the oil before we pour it over the floor. I haven't had a single accident on this game yet. I would like to say that much. We haven't had a single, single accident. Oh, no. Uh, with leaking oil everywhere. I actually remember now to, uh, <laughs> to put the oil pan underneath the car. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Are any of these crapped out? In fact, most of them, a lot of them are actually. Okay, so the pistons that we know need replacing are that one and that one. Let's go into it. Can we examine mode this lot? Yes, we can. So examine mode, the rod caps, see if any of these pop up as red. Orange we can get away with. Red we cannot. I'm now slightly concerned because none of them are going red. I, I thought that was going to be the... Uh, oh, I thought that was going to be the solution. It wasn't. Uh, that filter seems okay as well. Um... Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to get rid of these pistons. We'll get these ones out. So it's the ones at uh, this end of the engine. It's just, that's just make it, me making a mental note of it. Uh, okay. What else is going to be then on this car? We're going to have to go full detective mode in a minute. I guess air filter could be crapped out. Uh, piston with Conrod. You can come out. You can come out. Now, the rest of the stuff on this car, I mean, the crankshaft, fairly confident the crankshaft is okay. Let's go and get rid of this stuff here. Uh, <laughs> if it was the clips, there would be there would be much anger. There would be much anger if it was the clips on this that were the, like the last two undiscovered parts. Okay, so the air filter is crapped up completely. Oh, the air filter cover is another thing that's crapped up completely. Um, examine mode, I guess. Might as well go examine mode. So that's fine. So we need air filter cover. Is that all of the bits discovered now? It is! Ha <laughs> ha! Job has been done! Well, I say job is... I shouldn't celebrate now because the job hasn't actually been done. The... Uh... <laughs> We, we, we've got uh, a fair few bits. I don't know if it did actually add camshaft to the shopping lift. Camshaft bearing. I think it needed an actual camshaft. Well, let's, let's go through. Let's go through and buy all of these bits. So, we needed radiator. I, I might have missed a couple. We will come back to, uh, to buy stuff as and when is needed. So, we need an intake manifold for a V6. Intake manifold V6 B. Yes, that is what we needed. We needed a rear uh, muffler F. We need two of those. So we will get them. We need... Uh, actually, I guess we just put V6 there. Uh, we'll cover all of our parts. We need a front exhaust section V6B. Oh, no. Front exhaust section B V6B. That's the one we want. There's a lot of a lot of V6B stuff going on. We need a gearbox. I could probably repair these, actually. I'm not, I'm not even thinking at the moment. But well, you know what? We're here now, so <laughs> I'm buying them. Exhaust manifold for V6. Exhaust manifold V6B. There's no difference for them. Uh, coil. We are going to... Uh, oopsie. That's not a key that we want to press. Oop. Uh, we probably could do with another letter in there. Ignition coil. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of these because I'll use them at some point anyway. And I might have cocked up with uh, one. Uh, sometimes if you like put, if you take up a part that isn't damaged, you put it back on again, and it's uh, it will say that sometimes parts are repaired when it's not repaired, and it might it might get a little bit angry with um, things being put on <sighs> incorrectly, essentially. Oh, I'll. So there's oh that's I six I thought that was an, uh, <laughs> I that was an alternator for a V six and it was telling me to buy an alternator a normal one I got very very confused but never mind uh, we're fine power steering pump uh, we want V six I assume that's that one there I can't actually see it over the shopping list uh, hold on 
Power steering pump V6B. That's the one we want. Uh, I've also got a kitten that's just decided to uh, climb up. I've got a little cat, uh, little cat sort of tree that sits next to my uh, sits next to my desk because he likes to come and sit up there. He likes he likes to come and get my attention essentially. Uh, when I'm doing whatever I'm doing. And uh, he has just decided to come and say hello. Oh, now he's decided to sit on my foot. Okay. Normal, normal cat stuff. Uh, <laughs> timing cover. We need uh, C and B, don't we? Yeah. Okay, there, there, there is a difference between them. I didn't notice. I was probably blind, as I often am. Uh, camshaft bearing V6B. Because we want camshaft bearing. It's like just the whole lot in one go. Uh, we do need an air filter. And we might need a camshaft for a V6, but I'm not sure. I didn't think when I pulled them out there in particular. Oh, we need two pistons. Whoopsie. Uh, yes, we will need the two. I don't know if we will need piston rings. I actually assume we probably won't because this was only... I can probably pull the ring... I probably have pulled the rings off the other one. Uh, so this should go in here fine. Yeah, they're at 60%, so that's all okay. Stick in the other side as well. This is a cool addition, actually. This is a very cool addition. Uh, I probably should have been in the game from the beginning. I don't. <laughs> this game seems to have got a little bit of a weird. I say a little bit. A, a lot of a weird launch. Um, a little bit. I say a little bit. Quite uh, rushed, I suspect, because there's all sorts of bits that aren't working that should be and uh, and whatnot. It's not been the. Uh, not been the smoothest. I know it was delayed like a week, and it's still not not great. Uh, so I don't know whether this car was supposed to be in the game from standard or whether it's just like a, a, a free sort of extra DLC or something that's gone on. It might be, it might have supposed to have been in the game from standard but not worked properly. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's completely plausible. Okay, we are going to need a camshaft for the V6. So yeah, it's a little, little, little bit of, ooh, was it in, oh no, that's an I6, never mind. Uh, ignore me. Uh, the I, uh, I'm just kind of used to jumping to uh, a, a specific kind of type of part, if that makes sense. Like, I, I see something six, and I just assume that's the thing that I'm working on when it often isn't. Uh, it's actually quite a technical little engine. I like it. Uh, new bearings over on this side. Yeah, it's a really cool thing. Really really cool car to uh, to work on. I'm kind of glad... I'm, I'm saying I'm kind of glad. In some ways, I, I'm glad that we're working on this rather than just scavenging around for more parts to build the engine. I hope we can do that at some point. I really do hope we can do that at some point, because that will be really cool. But uh, this is also a very interesting thing to be uh, to be working on. So we have got... Yeah, well, intake manifold can sit in there. And then we will... I think we had the... Ah, oh, is it that part of the manifold? Right, okay. Into, I've, I've got the wrong part. I've bought the wrong part of the manifold. I'm a fool. I didn't think it needed... <laughs> I didn't think it needed that bottom bit, but there's a, a, an A part and a B part for it. There's a, there's a lot of stuff to faff about with in this, uh, or with this with this engine. All right, that will go in there, and then we've got all the timing crap to do as well, don't we? Nice shiny exhaust manifold back. This is going to be a re really weird mixture of bits on this car. It's going to have some really shiny bits, and the rest of it is just borderline garbage, basically. <laughs> it is. The car is is just. If I if I had a Clio V6, it would be in a lot better condition than this one. <laughs> V6s are actually start. I say starting to. They're never exactly cheap cars, but uh, yeah, Clio V6s are going up in. If if, I, if it was one of those cars, like if you had the money to buy, they would be a really good investment. I have no doubt for the uh, for the future because they are starting to shoot up in in value. And you know they were they were crazy. They were quite rare. I can't imagine very many were sold. <laughs> from you because uh, sort of purpose wise is just as a fun crazy they're not really practical for anything and I'm, they're one of those cars that you're just glad existed because they're just so bonkers and sure enough yeah not, not that many were sold but I'm very glad that some were uh, one one day maybe when I'm uber rich maybe we'll get a, I'll get a clear V6 <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is wishful thinking. And mine would certainly not be this bloody rusty. I will tell you that much. Mine would not be this rusty whatsoever. And that can go on there. Right, that's timing stuff done. Idler roller, that's going to be in good enough condition to survive. That can have the serpentine belt over there. We've got an idler roller B sticking out on that corner. It's definitely one of the most impressive collection of uh, belts and things that I've seen on this game. Source manifold will be a little bit of the rusty side, but it's good enough for the customer to be okay with it. So there we go. 
Then we've got these two oh, bearing sets, essentially, to put on. We will then have the head kind of covers to go on, which were all, yeah, these were all in good enough condition to at least pass. We need spark plugs and crap as well, don't we? Don't let me forget those. <laughs> Say, don't let me forget those. Uh, not that there is very much that you guys can do about it. You will probably be shouting at me for having forgotten various parts already, because that's just how I end up playing these games. Um, yeah, we need a couple of spark plugs. I can't remember how many were failing spark plugs, but actually, I'll tell you what, we'll just go through and we'll fit them in from this side, and then we'll have a rough idea of how many we need. I, th I think 46% might be okay. But, oh, we did get coils, I just didn't get spark plugs. Well, we're sticking the new ones, bugger it, why not? We'll be kind. <laughs> we'll be kind to the customer with their terrible, terrible condition, uh, Cleo. Not sure they deserve it. Right, we'll get three new ones. Uh, oops, I can't remember. I, got it. I can press T to go from there. Thank you, people, for letting me know I can press T to go without having to back out of the kind of part adding section. I very easily forget that. <laughs> I'm kind of. Trying to get used to the uh, little, what's it called, menu, the little pie menu, and I've now got so used to it, I use it for everything, uh, when I don't really necessarily need to be. Okay, all new ignition coils, we need the, v the intake manifold A, that's the one we need, we need intake manifold A for a V6, uh, intake manifold A, V6, yes. Uh, we will have to go there and buy all the clutch parts, and so I just want to get the engine done for. We'll get the engine done first, and then we'll worry about uh, clutch and gearbox, and then uh, exhaust. Fuel rail should be okay. Throttle was not a part that needed doing. Uh, right, that's in there. Fuel rail over there. Okay, that I think is the engine complete. Put back together. Air filter can go on. Well, what I will check. Is, so we haven't done radiator, but we know we haven't done radiator. I was just making sure that all of that was uh, complete. Air filter cover. Oh, I've, I've done the same stupid thing again. Uh, I apologise. Uh, it's just it's just how it's gonna how it's gonna end up working with me. My bad. I will maybe uh, like I've I've got used to the pie menu now after many hours of playing it. So I will eventually remember I can press T when I'm working on the car. It's just gonna take a little while. Uh, I apologise up until that point where it is all okay. So that needs to be done underneath, that needs to be done underneath, that needs to be done underneath. Right, to the sky with you. Oh, no, wrong side. To the sky! <laughs> I think we got the gearbox. Let's go get flywheel and clutch and stuff. Uh, clutch bits. I, annoyingly, I was having a clear out of my warehouse and I sold a bunch of clutch parts where I probably shouldn't have done. Would have been useful. Save me. <laughs> Save me some money on this job. It's going to be a fairly decent paying job, this one. Unfortunately, uh, XP is a massive bloody grind on this game if you want to level up. Even like a... This is a, a fairly substantial job. And uh, even this is not going to get me anywhere near enough XP. You have to do a lot of these to level up. I don't look forward to the grind trying to get to level 30, where you unlock the, the rest of the... Uh, level 35 is really what you need to get to, to get some of the decent stuff. And it's going to take a bloody time is what that's going to do. Uh, oil filter can go on there. Rear drive axle B can sit in there. And we'll go to the other side. Can I sneakily jump my way across? Yes, I can. Got to love the sneaky, jumpy way across. And then we need to do exhaust. Uh, front exhaust section. That should be good. And then we've got the rear mufflers. We have two new ones of those. And then we have got... Uh, did we do the, oh, no, the other exhaust section? Didn't need doing because that was in good enough condition. I think we're now all done bar the radiator. That's the last thing. Strange noise. That, that, that. Right. Drop the car down. Wrong way again. Radiator, oil. And we are completed. And that will be work done on the Clio V6. I really like this engine, actually. It's a really cool one to work on. Really different to... I say really different. I mean, it's... <laughs> You've worked on a car engine on this game, you'll know how it will work. But uh, it's a very, it's an interesting, definitely a very interesting addition to uh, to this game. How on earth do we get to the? Oh, there it is. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm blind. I thought it was. Ah, no oil pan. <laughs> Whoops. That's an important bit. Forgot about that. Go back up into the sky again, car. Almost, almost did a good job. Yeah, good thing we didn't pour the oil in. Otherwise, <laughs> we'd have poured it in, and it. Will... Ah, we actually probably didn't put the bearings on the bottom either, did we? Nope, that would definitely not have been a good... That would not be a good end to the engine. <laughs> that, would, that, that would have been a very poor end. 
Uh, good thing I'm not an actual mechanic. And an oil pan will go on there. I, 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 when I put the pistons in, I made a mental note, and then the mental note got buried in all the other notes that were going on. And now we have a car in better condition. And go back. Down we go. <sighs> then we will be done. We will be done. It's like a 30-minute job almost, this one. Yeah, some of the jobs can be uh, quite uh, time-consuming. Which... It's not necessarily a bad thing. I just wish you got more XP in relation to the amount of time a job took uh, compared to what you actually get, because it's just so much faster to do lazy jobs. Uh, where is the dipstick on this one? And don't don't all go pointing at me. Uh, <laughs> where is it? Um, I would have thought it would be easy to reach. Is there? Am I being blind? Am I missing? Surely it shouldn't be this difficult to find the damn thing. I mean, it's got enough oil in it anyway. I was going to check the levels uh, just to be on the triple E safe side. Not that it really matters on this game. Uh, it might be blind or it might be missing one. I don't know. I have no idea. It has gone walkies. <laughs> Never mind then. We'll not worry about it. We're going to say it's done. And that will be everything completed. All of the work is done. So there we go. Disa, uh, the car. Oh, body parts. Of course, it actually has an engine cover on it, doesn't it? Uh, assemble mode, I guess? Yeah, engine cover goes in there. That's the ticket. Right, now it will be done. Decent paying job, this one. Very decent paying job, in fact. Just terrible in terms of XP. That's cool. I liked working on that car. That is a very cool addition to the uh, to the game. So there we go, that's because of the uh, the Clio V6. Hopefully we can go and do this junker challenge with an engine at some point when that all works. And if people have told me how to do it, then thank you. Um, yeah, keep me keep me posted on uh, on that one. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.